Hello everyone, it's Scotsman1984 here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're doing a US MRE Menu 16 Rib Shape Barbecue Flavour Pork Patty. Hey everyone, so today I received a, a parcel from my wife. The, she'd ordered some MREs up for me um, as a part of my birthday. I didn't expect her to, I did say to her, oh you can always buy me some of them. Um, I didn't expect her to buy them, but she does watch the videos and she does critique me every time on the on the things that I say and laughs at me. So I didn't expect her to buy me some, but she has. She's bought me this uh, a, a few of them, and the one I'm going to do today is the menu 16, the rib shaped barbecue flavor pork patty. It's uh, a Meriquel, and this is a date code of five two nine nine. It's a two thousand fifteen. Okay, so let's open this up. So, if you've never seen it, it's a peelable seal at the top of these. And I never have much luck. And look at that first time. So, as most, uh, sorry, not as most, as all medical packages tend to have, they come with this inner bag. And if we can see some of the, the stuff inside. So let's open this up. And this is a date code 5299 on that bag as well. So, we have our standard issue flameless ration heater, FRH. Uh, Santa Fe style rice and beans this is a card because they don't come in the boxes anymore. Oh, we have some grape jelly. Our standard issue MRE spoon. Uh, banana nut ranger bar. Oh, that sounds nice. Cocoa beverage powder. Some barbecue sauce. Peanut butter, and we have a wheat snack bread trans fat free twin pack. There must, there must be two thin ones in there, I believe. Then we have a, oh, this is different for me. This is a accessory pack B, and this I've not seen one, one like this before with the beverage base powder in there. So we have our Santa Fe rice and beans. And that's the card for the information. I'll let you pause on that if you want to read all that. So this has a date code of 5273. And then we have our holder for the for heating things up. And this is the rib shaped barbecue flavour pork patty. I'll let you pause on them if you want to read them. And here we have our barbecue pork patty. And that's got 5247. It is okay. Okay, so there's definitely laid out for this MRE. This is a, a great MRE um, that you could use for breakfast, really easy. It has uh, the two, uh, the twin pack of the uh, wheat snack bread. So that the peanut butter and the grape jelly. Now you've got a nice uh, breakfast um, and a Ranger bar, cocoa beverage powder. So this really is a, an MRE that seems to be able to do too. Um, so you've definitely got a, a, something there for breakfast or a lunch or a, your uh, main meal um, with the Santa Fe style rice and beans and your barbecue beef pork pate and the barbecue sauce obviously they are to accompany the pork pate. So we'll open this accessory pouch up and I've never had one of these before. This is a beverage base cranberry grape and it's a very small amount of powder in there. That's where the powder starts. That's just air. And it says add to 20 fluid ounce bottled water, shake gently. So we have our standard toilet paper. We have iodized salt. We have a moist towelette. And our chiclet chewing gum. So this one doesn't come with any hot drinks. You just have your uh, your beverage base powder and your cocoa. Sorry, you obviously if you want to you could add hot to this if you, if you really want to. It does say they add 6 ounces of hot or cold water so you could do that. What you could also do with this is uh, uh, as Gundog has uh, told me is if we take this and he does have some videos I will put that in the description a link to his uh, 
one of his videos where he takes this, he adds very little water and makes up like a a, a frosting and you could have it on your banana nut ranger bar if you wanted to um, I know Emmy Eats she did that just the other day she did a, an MRE hack where she used um, oh, on a carrot cake um, pound cake that came in a, I think hers was a, a strawberry uh, sort of flavour, I'm not, I can't remember the flavour but she did it and I'll link that in the description as well so we'll uh, we'll make everything here today because there, there's no hot drink so we don't have to worry about that so we've got two, well, I'll make this into the actual cocoa uh, beverage powder I'd like to try that um, and I'll uh, make this up as well and we'll make everything up and try everything out okay so we're going to heat up we just have the two to make up here so we'll have our pork patty and our Santa rice and beans so the, my plan is just to put them in the middle of the FRH like that hopefully they'll both fit in I'm not 100% sure if they'll fit in I'll try put them in with the the element in the middle I will try that rather than have on the outside I might have to put one on the outside but we'll try and get that so it heats up as best as possible I'll, uh, I'll zoom fast forward and because most of the videos you'll have seen you can go back and you can watch how we do the FRH but it does tell me in front so here we go Okay, so that's going strong. Now, I added some salt to the water on this one just because of the way I'm doing it. I just wanted to make sure it went. But that's it, it's certainly heating up now. I can smell and it's starting to expand. So we'll sit it on our rock or something and we'll start training everything up while we're on that cooking. There's our tray. So we're going to start with um, the two drinks. Um, so we'll, the first one I'll do is the this beverage base cranberry grape. Now it says on it to add to twenty fluid ounce bottled water and shake gently. I don't have bottled water. Um, I live in Scotland, so the water at the tap is the some of the best you can get in the world. So I've got roughly what it equates to, which is roughly a pint. Um, twenty fluid ounce. It's something like five hundred and seventy mils. So we'll add that to that. And we'll try a glass of it. So my assumption is this is exceptionally strong for the uh, for the amount of powder that's actually in it. I grab my MRE spoon, and we'll go into fast time. Okay, so that smells amazing. That smells exactly like the uh, the grape sweeties that I uh, I buy out of a shop here. It's uh, called Americandy. Or uh, cocoa beverage powder. So I'm going to do this cold, so it's like a a cold chocolate. Um, the great thing with this is it's nice and simple. If you've not seen it before, you rip off the top. I'll, I'll let you just see that if anyone wants to see the ingredients you can pause that so with this it's designed to act as a, an emergency not an emergency but act as a an easy to use kind of bottle so it has a fill line on it so we'll just fill it up to there with this nice and simple zip tie it and I, I, I fold it over as well just to make sure. Now the great thing with these is being able to shake it up, you can get all the powder. It's a lot easier to, to do it than stir. So I think that I don't think that zip lock actually worked on that, so we'll pour it out. There we go. Nice and throughy. Okay, so let's tree the other stuff up. What have we got here? So we have the wheat snack bread trans fat free twin pack. So let's uh, open that up. And that's 5195. And yeah, I was right, there is two in there. So they feel nice and, uh, and soft, they don't feel hard. 
they smell nice, nice and flowery. Um, so these would be perfect with peanut butter and jelly, make yourself a wee sandwich. And we have, for after, we have the Banana Nut Ranger Bar. And that is 5239. Now I'm looking forward to this, I've never had one of these. That's taken a bit of damage, so we'll just pull that out. It has broken up. There we go. So you can get a look the size of it. And we have our grape jelly. There's the ingredients and the nutritional. And these update codes as well, 5240. So Make sure we squeeze that up and we will put some of this onto our wheat snack bread. And our peanut butter. And make sure that you squeeze this up to get any oils that have settled in the, the corners when it's been sitting. There's our peanut butter. So let's put some down there. Okay, so that's everything out except for our um, entree. I'm just waiting on that heating up. Okay, so this has had long enough. Okay, so we'll open up our pork patty first. It's certainly been heating up in there. It's nice and toasty on the bottom, um, but there's movement in there now, so it's certainly reacted with the heat. Open. I'll wipe my hands down. This this doesn't want to open. Not working at all today. I don't know what's going on. The peelable seal worked, but nothing else is working today. So let's uh, use one knife. come out as well and then we have our Santa Fe rice and beans oh, that's no use I am not having much luck today There's the Santa Fe rice and beans. Let's get that out. Okay, so I'm going to start with a, a drink. So this is the cranberry grape beverage powder. That's excellent. It has a, you can taste the cranberries, but there is a, a hint of grape in there, and it does it does taste that grapey flavour that I like. And the cocoa beverage powder, we'll give that another wee stir, it has started to settle a bit. That's very nice, it's like a, a nice chocolate milkshake. Okay, so we'll, uh, we'll try the wheat snack bread first. So I'll take a, a little bit so I can try it. Oh. Without the jam I was trying there. So we'll try it. Yeah, I've not I've not had the wheat snack bread like this before. It's uh, it's a blandy flowery flavour, uh, but it does taste fresh. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little bit different. I'm gonna make a, a wee PB and J now that I've tried that. So we'll go into a bit of fast time. So there we go, there's my PB&J, and I'll try that. 
I'm pretty sure that's what that was made for. <laughs> that is amazing. Love it. Okay, so obviously you could use your wheat snack bread and put your pork patty in there as well. And you could uh, make a put your barbecue sauce on it and make up a bit of a of a sort of it's effectively a burger, I suppose. So we'll uh, we'll try the uh, the Santa Fe rice and beans. These different types of beans in there. Nice rice. It's a nice stodgy dish. It's uh, get a bit of everything in there. Show you. And I see corn in there as well. So there we go. Let's try that. And there's a bit of spice to it from the green chilli peppers. That's a, I quite like that. That's a, an, an interesting, I've not had something like that before, but it's an interesting and a very tasty dish. So let's try the uh, the pork patty. I'll get you a look at this. Make sure it's focusing in properly. Yeah, that's okay. It's um, There's a little bit of spice to it. It's uh, nice and uh, kind of tender, but obviously it's, it's reconstituted meat. So it's got that kind of feel to it when you bite through it. It doesn't come apart like meat, but that's it. It's a pork pie for you. So let's try some of this barbecue sauce. What I'll do is I'm going to try it first so I can get a taste for the sauce. Because I do like barbecue sauce. So this barbecue sauce is very sweet. That's quite nice. I do like that. So let's uh, add some of that. And... There we go. Pork patty, Santa Fe, beans and rice, and some barbecue sauce. Let's try that. That's really good. Complements itself there. Everything kind of goes together. It's excellent. Okay, so let's finish off. We've got the the Ranger bar here, and this was the banana banana nut Ranger bar. So can't really see anything, any bits in it. Um, oh no, there I can. I can see some nuts there. I can see some nuts. Let's try that. Oh, that's absolutely excellent. That's that's everything it's cracked up to be. And um, when you bite into that, um, I can't even describe what it's like. But when you bite through it, you get the the crispy. There's like a crispy bits in it. It's just I just absolutely brilliant. Not a massive banana flavour to it. Um, well, it's a it's a really nice really nice dessert. So there we go. So that's the menu sixteen, the rib shaped barbecue flavor pork patty. The only thing I've not tried is the the chiclets chewing gum. But again, I've had multiple MREs, and the the chiclets either obviously the red or the cinnamon. So I won't bother opening them. But that's uh, menu sixteen. That's a nice. It's a nice all-rounded meal, so it'd be an excellent uh, kind of breakfast item there as well. Um, so yeah, I, I quite like that. So thanks again for watching, and um, we'll see you in the next video. Why not give me a like, a dislike, put a comment, and why not subscribe? Thank you very much for watching, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.